If you haven't already, don't forget that you can subscribe to Ollie's Farm by clicking the subscribe button and you can also tap the little bell so that you can be notified when there's a new video. Good morning Ollie's Farmers, welcome back to the channel and welcome today to the Kubota M7152. So this is 152 horsepower and it also as well comes with a 3000 hour five year warranty. So today we're going to take it out for a drive, we're going to see what it's like. It's got a four cylinder um, 152 horsepower engine which is actually derived from the Kubota engines um, so it's uh, quite new to the market and it's something I'm quite interested in uh, and looking at potentially for the future. Park now, are we? Sorry. Yep. Okay. So, so is there? Take a... the handbrake off. You're just gonna grab it on the foot brake. Yeah. And then... So it's because you're roll back if you don't. All right. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Left. Right. Sorry. Oh, the turning circle is good. So I should. You should change up then. If I. If you rev it hard enough, should change up. Oh yeah. I see. Oh, well, there we go. And then with the Vario, is it a high range and a low range? Uh, no, it's um, similar to the John Deere where it's working off of clutch packs. Okay. okay. So you've got two ranges that you can use it in. You've got uh, field range and road or transport if you like. Okay. Um, Maybe we'll just whip up here, is that a bit of a dead end up there yeah, or we'll go left? You go left and then up around the roundabout if you like. Okay, so, so just left you, down there? Yeah. You've typically got um, So what it does do is it, it, it gives you uh, much more control over your forward speed. Okay. So it doesn't actually change anything other than the software controlling your forward speed. Right. So unlike um, some tractors, you can't cook the oil if you go into the field and run it in the transport mode, it won't cook itself. Okay. But it's sitting on the road quite nicely. The steering's quite nice as well. It's hold, holding quite well, actually. Yeah. And she'll do it with an 18 ton trailer on, no problem as well. Oh, right. Is so, it, um, uh, so we're doing 50k, does, does it do sort of 48 or 55? I know some tractors do different. Uh, it'll half. sort of do sort of. Uh, oh, one sits at about. So we're about 52. Which is oh, 52 about down there, is. sorry, yeah. Yeah, the John Deere at home normally sits at about 54, 55 sometimes, but yeah. I think it's how they're all set up, isn't it? Yeah. And I think you'll probably find them there. Just because they're telling you that, that isn't typically true. What it's doing, right. Yeah. Um, right here, or? Or you go around the roundabout and back, or you can go up the road a bit further there. Oh, okay. Oh, don't know if I do that. Maybe I'll go, I'll go around and then I yeah. see what you mean, yeah. So it's good having the automatic function so that it's changing gear on its own. Yeah. Just go right around and knock it back. Uh, what you probably want to do is just bring that down a little bit. Oh right, okay. Is that like the, aggr too much. the aggressiveness or something? Or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. So that should make it less, but it should make it smoother. Yeah. This is a really nice tractor actually. I'm really impressed with Kubota so far. The cab's really spacious as well, I've noticed. I think great good visibility. Yeah. Has Everything it got... sort of seems in the right place as well, if that makes sense. Okay. And it's, um, has it got cab suspension as well as front suspension, do you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, depending on the, the model, the, obviously the uh, higher spec you go, yeah. um, we're running off of air. So this is an air, air sprung cab, if you like. Okay. But you can have mechanical coils as well. Right, got you. Okay. So depending on the spec level you choose, you know, entry levels or springs yeah which rides all right to be fair nothing wrong with that yeah but if you if you're running on the higher spec models you can come on to uh, two airbags airbags which, yeah. which gives you a nice ride okay something which i think is really appealing is just a 3000 hour five year warranty as standard i think that's really good well i, I think it says we've got a lot of confidence in yeah. our product i don't think i know of any other tractor which can offer that 
from new on the no. market right now. You must Kubota must be one of the only ones doing that sort of deal, surely. Yeah. And yeah. I think we're. Uh, I'm not currently sure where we are at the minute, but we were doing um, four years at zero percent. Okay. And with Kubota being such a big brand as well, sorry, um, I'm guessing this is going to be sold all over the world rather than yeah. just Europe. I would, I would guess. Oh, just like this. Yeah. So they scale. are, they are, um, as you say, sold all over the world. Yeah. Which for resale value is quite good for the export market. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing quite well in Europe. Very popular in Europe at the minute. Yeah. Um, we're getting quite a lot out here. Yeah. Um, I suppose where they're really going to sell some is back home, like Japan, China. Well, they're probably more smaller tractors there. Okay. Um, rather than would they? Would do you think their farming would sort of gradually get bigger, and they'd want this sort of size machine one day? Or I'm not sure. They um, maybe, maybe. I think the um, where we have been with the Risa, we we had some very good deals out there to start with to get some attempt some people in yeah um, and actually three years on with 3,000 hours we're offering obviously there's been a price rise yeah but we are offering people the same sort of money as they paid for them when they bought them three years ago okay wow so, so yeah. the sort of resale value has really held up well with really them. shut up with them then yeah because they're like you say a global, a global brand sorry yeah yeah Good wing mirrors as well, I just noticed that as well, good visibility. Yeah. And our parts, I know you probably say they're relatively affordable, but compared to like other sort of more premium bands, I would imagine being Kubota, maybe they're a bit more reasonable, the price of parts, for example, I, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? If, I mean, if you are to buy a Fen part, it's <laughs> a bit of a fortune, but. I, I think we're, um what we've tended to look at is service packages. Okay. So what we've done is we've worked with people. Yeah. So it depends how you do it. So typically for servicing, right. um, if you take back end oil for instance, yeah. we were finding we were quite uncompetitive. Okay. Um, and what we've actually done is we've said, well look, if you buy the barrel of oil and have it on your farm, yeah. we can sell you a barrel of oil the same price as we sell you two cans. Okay. The fitter puts four cans of oil in it to change it, so why don't you have a barrel on the farm? Yeah. But the fitter can't put a barrel in his farm. Uh, so we've okay. looked at servicing into to quite a lot of deep depth yeah. and actually done the job to, to make it work and work as a team. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and I think we, we don't have silly hourly rates, yeah. so it actually means our servicing is, isn't... Um, I'm not going to lie and say it's you know, really cheap out there, yeah. but I think you would find us favourable in terms of a John Deere or a Ben or something like that. Yeah, other brands, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm really impressed with it so far. So, like I say, it, sits, it just sits on the road really nicely. Yeah, so, so if you were hauling muck trailers and that, mm. you know, they are... Uh, I've got a uh, guy I was just speaking to, he's looking at changing his, he's done 3,000 hours in it. Okay. So he likes to keep something into warranty. Yeah. I you think know, he's two years old, 3,000 hours. Uh, right, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So oh, so he, can, he can always keep his in warranty then, if he yeah, keeps changing so he, it. Yeah, he wants to keep his in warranty now, right. he's come outside of warranty. Oh, that's a very good idea. Um, and... With the when you come to a stop, you do have to clutch, don't you? Is that yeah, right? Or just, just oh, you can do it. On the, That's on a good the idea. Lever, and the shuttle, yeah. It's up to you, and you've got neutral on your handset over there as well. Right. Oh, yeah. So you, if you you've actually got a um, so what you've actually got is on your um, on that joystick. There's an electric clutch. Right. On the on the back of it. Ah, so and you've got the electric you, clutch, so you could clutch there if so, you so wanted. So when you press that, that's operating the clutch. Yeah, and you've also got oh, okay. on the on the hand, ah, the back, arm control there as well. Back of the deeper shaft. Brilliant. Well, I'd love to see one of these with the vari variable transmission. I think that would be. Have you? You haven't got any, obviously, in the dealership, but. Well, we've got uh, we've got some. Uh, Ah, okay. Demo, demo ones, what you sort of fancy having a demo or something? Or yeah, that would be great on the farm to see a ZF, uh, see one with a ZF transmission and then put it against a 6.9. Yeah, 
Yeah. That would be ideal. So there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today just seeing me driving the Kubota there. It was really nice uh, driving it and uh, the 3,000 hour five year warranty is something which sounds very appealing. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the uh, Kubota M152 and uh, do let me know. Thanks very much for Browns for uh, letting me come down to this Kubota dealership today to have a look at the Kubota. Go and check out Browns. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. And as always guys, do comment, rate, subscribe for plenty more videos to come.